Faculty and staff from the Fort Knox Schools District gathered at the Fort Knox Middle High School gym August 1st to start prepping for the 2023-24 school year. Schools Superintendent Michelle Allen said there's a lot to get excited about. With the support of our school liaison officer, Brenda Weatherington, we are able to establish partners in education with our military units and community partners. So this high school has a partnership with the fire department where we have a student who has earned all of the coursework to be a true firefighter after graduation. So that's a partnership. Um, a bound credit union is also a partnership teaching our students financial literacy and all of our military units are partnered with a school to just lend that give and take support. Um, we might need soldiers to come in and teach classes. We might send artwork to beautify a facility, but it's a partnership because the goal is increased student achievement. But it only doesn't just happen with college and career ready standards. It happens in other areas too. So that's where our partnerships come in and they're very, very important and vital to what our students see. Dual enrollment is very important. Uh, we have students who are able to handle a greater course, lo course load. Um, so they partner with ECTC, take courses there. And in some instances, when they graduate from high school, they are also achieving their associate degree at the same time. Allen said the 21st century model will continue to be used in the schools. I had the pleasure of working at a 21st century school at Fort Moore um, years ago. And the concept um, started off to be a little bit challenging at the beginning because in this neighborhood is what we call our learning spaces. In the neighborhood, you are connected to your colleagues. It allows a teacher to have a community to build with students, with their teammates, and you start sharing much more than you would in an individual legacy classroom. You plan together, you collaborate consistently, you have focused collaboration together while you're doing what's best for students. Soft skills are a practice. When we isolate children and they don't get a chance to collaborate, they don't get a chance to uh, be creative, we're hurting our workforce. So having this kind of environment gives students all of the soft skills that are needed. Any company could use a 21st century kiddo. Even though the building is beautiful, 21st century teaching doesn't just happen in a 21st century school. It happens in our legacy buildings as well. Safety is a big part of planning for each school year. For this year, Ellen said the schools will take part in a post-wide training exercise September 19th through 21st. We don't want to take for granted that we are on a military installation. Yes, there is a layer at the gate before an intruder could possibly get in, but our schools are also designed with safety in mind. Our doors lock from the inside. Um, we have safety announcement, announcements. We practice safety drills. And this school year, we're going to do a huge exercise that involves reunification with our families just as a practice um, so that we can be prepared. Allen said, just like safety, parental involvement is also important in their children connecting with the curriculum. Being a teacher is not a one-man show. Education starts at home. So we'd like to partner with our parents in order to make the best outcome for our students. So that means um, we communicate. That means that we find the positive things. That means that we navigate the challenges together. It's not um, up to the school to do every single thing, but we're here to work as a team. And we want them to know that we are prepared with our instruction. We have all the resources that we need. We have teachers prepared and ready with one goal in mind, and that is to maintain their safety and increase student achievement so that we prepare students for the world that we know. Everybody participates in raising up this generation. It's going to be a phenomenal year.